under this statement, let's say if open bracket, close bracket, open curly brace, close curly brace. Well, entirely, I'm going to say if alpha's value is greater than, no, less than, or equals to zero, then alpha is equals to zero. Now, you know what I'm going to do again? I'm going to copy the. I know you're thinking, why are you doing this again if it's over here? But trust me, you need it. Because some, something goes wrong within the GUI and then the timer goes all complicated. Greater than or equals to 1, then alpha equals to 1. Save that. Oh, no, one second. Sorry, you don't need the equals in this one. Nor do you need it in this one. Just left hand great number, okay. Alright, so that's that done. The next if statement is going to be pretty simple. Open bracket, close bracket. All we're going to say is if alpha's value is equals equals to 1, we want to call the timer function we made down there. And I'm just going to call that quickly. And timer count is going to be called over here. And underneath this yield, I'm going to say would I call it alpha on equals false all right I'll explain at the end do not worry right now if you're confused it's good right that's that done save this and let's do the final part underneath this if statement we're gonna create one more and in this one is the most important one all we're gonna say if alpha on is equals equals to false then we want alpha which is this variable over here to minus equals itself so go back to zero so time dot delta time divided by five Okay, so that pretty much looks like it's complete, but we're actually missing one more thing. And that's to do with this if statement right here. What we're going to say is if the alpha channel reaches back to zero, we want alpha on equals to true again. And we want active to be equals false. So we don't see the blood splat screen anymore okay now let me explain something to you actually as you can see I've set the timer to 3 now that's going to cause a problem in a bit so what we're going to do is we're going to allow alpha to reach 2 and that's the max it can go to okay I'll explain in a bit when we go outside into the spectrum mode so that'd be alright yeah what happens is if that's not equals to 2 and it's equals to 1 for some reason when the timer reaches 3 everything works but this function here this command sorry this if statement ends up not working for some reason it doesn't activate alpha on and it makes active to be equals to false and I call it active blood I call it active again now this should work save your scene oh, save your script sorry go back into unity just make sure we got no errors I knew I had one. And where is it? Oops, it's a capital T, sorry, I put a lowercase t. It's time of wait, not count. Bloody idiot. Save. Back into Unity. Update. Brilliant. All gone. Now I'm praying this works. So let it just continue down here I forgot the main thing how stupid am I the actual GUI to appear so we don't want this GUI over here I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to place it down here okay in fact yeah okay okay that's fine let's create some more rects so just copy those ones Keep a space in there so you know where you place those and call this rect1 blood 
splat so you know what rect is for what okay just copy that blood splat and paste it there paste it there and paste it there let's say actually I am completely sorry about this we don't need these uh, that's because this is going to have no values for this so this is going to be equal to zero this is going to be equal to zero if you don't know why we just want the blood splat to the size of the screen fills it up and this is going to be screen dot width and this is going to be screen dot height this is going to be equal to nothing in there and that is only going to be the texture at the end and I already have a texture named texture health I'm just going to call it blood splat okay just copy this texture GY the first one paste it underneath time account and call this one blood splat all right sound good to me save your scene okay now let's go into unity and let's see if that works okay uh, before we do anything we need to apply the uh, apply the blood splat texture so open that up click on normal and then click on where I should look for your blood splat I've got mines over here I'll upload this one if you guys want it so you can go download it that's in there let's minimize that save the scene run the game let me just fall to the ground all right now let's activate blood okay it shows good but the time is playing around all right let's stop the game for a second something's going wrong with the timing right aha uh -huh. I can spot one issue uh, in the update function change that to 2 is greater than 2 and it's going to be equal to 2 that's 1 is that the only problem? Let's have a look. Let me just activate from the beginning so it's easy for testing purposes. Nope, still doing the same thing. Something else is wrong in here. Active da da North place less than zero. Oh, another one over here. Alpha is equal to two. Sorry guys. Most silly little mistakes you can't actually spot sometimes. Right, now I'm praying this works. Yes, it does. Half is going to two. It's going to start counting down. Perfect. And as you can see, the GY is going to start disappearing. And voila. Now, let me explain to you how that script actually works. 